Hey guys, so today we are going to talk about MetaZoo, what happens if you invested in a Kickstarter. So this box was a hundred dollars originally, then it went all the way up to a lot more, uh, anywhere between $10,000 or even more considering private sales. In that time, you could have easily bought any dual land for under $200, including Underground Sea. So for $10,000, you could have accumulated quite easily at that time, 50 Underground Sea. And that was actually the eBay price. So it wasn't even, it's a market price. I'm not talking about buy listing. There was no buy list at the time. Um, it was legitimately just the eBay price. Um, so you could have just sat online, you know, click buttons and you would have been mailed 50 underground seas. If you don't like the underground seas, you could have done 25 volcanics. Volcanic, I think was very close to 200 at that time as well. Now in hindsight, underground sea was the better buy, but volcanic has always been, you know, very, very high as well. So you could have got 50 underground seas, which today the buy list, again, not going off retail. You don't have to stress out about it. They will take as many volcanics as undergrounds. You got Card Kingdom and you got Star City Games. Both Star City Games, I believe, is pretty recent with their buy list now. And that's kind of interesting. Um, it is a very interesting thing, in my opinion, right? So we got the buy list, we got the situation now where the buy list is really, really healthy because there's a competitor now. So that's what I want to see. I want to see Star City Games versus Card Kingdom and I want them to fight over the buy list. That's ideal in my opinion because that is exactly what, um, you know, so let's say Underground Sea is higher here but it's lower here and the Volcanic is higher here. Volcanic is a very good example. Card Kingdom has a 480 buy list right now, while the other Star City Games has it at a whopping 550 or 500-ish, over 500. So you can actually see that there is a uh, difference in the buy list from the various stores. And the more stores that you have available, um, the more with buy list is that are legitimate stores the more likely you can get a higher price on things. So I think overall it's a pretty strong market for these cards and Commander ED8, I guess competitive Commander. I've never even heard of that concept. Um, maybe in the very beginning there was like French Commander. I think that was like 1v1, which isn't really that fun. But uh, yeah, apparently it's, you know, they're getting prize support from Wizards of the Coast directly. And as you can see, more of these Fallout and these other things, I mean, it does look like they're getting push. Um, and they are pushing everything towards Commander. And if that is the case, um, then yeah, dual lands, because they are essential to competitive Commander. Every Commander deck needs them, will go up in price, right? That's a really obvious statement to make. So had you invested $10,000 in MetaZoo, your take home after you sell one of these items or free shipping, maybe 500, so you lost 95% if I'm being generous, right? Um, so you lost, uh, you spent $10,000, you lost $9,500, yep, you're down to 500, yep. And you might go, oh, it's 700, okay, fine, I give you the 700, you can take the 700, you still lost 93%. If you had invested in dual lands like I did, uh, specifically the underground sea, I'm using that as an example, but all the dual lands are up. All the dual lands are like astronomically high now. Um, I'm, I'm only talking about buy list. I'm not talking about eBay or to eBay fees. So there's no fees you have to worry about. There's no, you know, PayPal. I mean, I'm talking about straight cash money, right, from Card Kingdom. And I mean, basically it's a check. Uh, you would be up 300%. So your $10,000 quote investment would now be worth $30,000. Now, you know, some sealed magic hasn't really done well. Pokemon has done incredibly well. I bought my, I bought um, a bunch of Evolving Skies and I spent a lot of money, as you guys know, opening it on live stream. 
and I got my Moonbrion. At the time, my Moonbrion was only, I, I think it was only like $300, $400. Uh, and now, um, now it's a lot more money, right? Yeah, it is a lot more money, right? So anyway, I think, um, I think it's an interesting scenario, right? Where a lot of the buy list and now you have one of the biggest competitors, right? Which is Star City Games. And that, you know, without competition, there's not really a reason card kingdom outside of pure need. Now it's competition. Now they have the fight uh, over the cards. It's definitely a lot more likely these cards will go up because there's another buyer. And I think that's really, really, really important. So, uh, in my opinion, um, definitely a very fun, fun thing. And something that I would highly recommend you guys look into if you have ED8s is investing in the dual lands. Now, I'm, am I saying that they can always be this? No, they can reprint them, right? The worst case scenario is always on the table. And the worst case scenario is they get reprinted. Um, they get reprinted and there is nothing left, right? And then, then the price will go down to, and that's something that you don't really worry about with stock. Yes, more stock can be issued, but not, uh, not like 10 times more stock, right? To dilute the shareholders. If anything, the founders will be diluted and the shareholders would be relatively okay. Cause that's the law. The law will protect you from over dilution. And that's why we don't have it. A lot of laws that apply for stocks do not obviously apply for magic cards. And that's, I think, one of the weaknesses in considering magic as an investment. Well, yeah, and the same thing with MetaZoo. They can always reprint the Kickstarter box. There's nothing preventing them legally from doing that. And honestly, at this point in stage, just throw the kitchen sink at everything and just hope it works, right? So again, one of the probably interesting things about Star City Games coming in with their new buy list on the dual lands, I believe the buy list, they have suspended it for some time. And I believe that uh, in all honesty, in all fairness to people who invest in MetaZoo, you know, it's never this uh, magic cards reserve list is not the same as MetaZoo Kickstarter. Like you, it would be like seeing a black lotus at ten thousand dollars go down to five hundred, um, I or seven hundred. Let's be fair to Meadowzoo, seven hundred. I'll, I'll give them their eBay fees. I know they're always demanding that, right? As if they don't exist, I've, as if their labor is worth nothing and their time is worth nothing, right? And and the cost of opportunity is worth nothing. That you put ten thousand dollars in something else like the S and P five hundred, have it gain ten, twelve percent a year, right? But anyway. The main point that I want to you guys to know is that there are some things that went up and there are some things that went down. MetaZoo is one of those things that went down the most during this time period. And it's unfortunate because many of the other things, even in Flesh and Blood, even in other games that I'm not too familiar with, but definitely in Pokemon, uh, you could have, for $10,000, you could have at $400 on Moonbrion, which was the price at the time, you could have caught, picked up 25 Moonbrions. The Moonbrion's at 900 now. It's a 2x, 2 plus x return. I mean, there was a lot of opportunity, but instead you bought MetaZoo. 